As religious leaders, we are deeply concerned about the crisis caused by the climate change on our continent and the, adiv uh, and the adverse effect on our, co our, our, co our communities. We are witnessing the devastating effects of climate fueled droughts, floods, cyclones, desertification, and, and food, food insecurity, displacement of people, and the conflicts that continue to rise. The religious communities have steadfast in advocating for a fair, ecologically just and equitable transition to a low carbon, climate resilient future that respects uh, the rights and dignity of all people. We outlined our call to action that we urge the African leaders to champion at the summit. We stand by the principles of climate justice, human rights, gender equality, and intergenerational equity in all climate policies and actions. We reiterate that climate policies and action measures should not only aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to the, to the, to the impacts of climate change, but also to ensure that they are consistent with the principles of climate justice, human rights, gender equality, and intergenerational equality. There are some proposals or actions claim to address the climate crisis, but in reality, they either have no significant impact on reducing greenhouse gases, emissions, or worse, have negative social and environmental consequences. Powerful interests that benefit from maintaining the status quo of fossil fuel dependence promote these proposals. And they divert attention and resources from the real solutions that are urgently needed. As religious leaders, we are called to protect and nurture our environment. Thus, we call for the rejection of the promotion of carbon markets that are not responsible and not serve the climate justice imperatives for Africa. We commit to a just and equitable transition to renewable energy, ensuring that energy access is prioritized for the poor and marginalized, and that community ownership and participation are guaranteed. We recognize that different countries and groups of people have different needs, capacities and aspirations in energy, and that this must be considered in the design and implementation of energy policies and projects. This will support the development of local capacities, skills and innovations, and fostering regional cooperation and integration to enhance the competitiveness and resilience of African economies in the global energy market. That uh, some of the things that are being done world over, you know, continue to pollute the environment more. And so therefore we don't have to uh, 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 go on the small things. Let's also look at what is it, what is happening. Because we know the developed world has really contributed much in the pollution of the air and the environment. And so therefore, let's not narrow on what the small person is doing in as much as we would want everybody to commit to securing our, our environment and our earth. Let's also look at who is contributing much and also tell them that, you know, without fear, that you need to do something so that we can together walk this path. That is our, our, our agenda. Well, world over there is much energy that can be exploited. And so therefore we are looking at solutions, we are looking at options that are not, you know, uh, uh, human degrading, that are, you know, for the safety of human life. 
Because the more we use nuclear, the more we emit gases that pollute uh, the space. And so therefore, we continue to uh, 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 endanger the lives or the, the uh, humanity in a way. As much as uh, you know, this is being done, there is need to, to, to have caution so that we do not you know, degrade or uh, 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 get into a, a sphere where we are losing our forest cover. There is need, and I'm happy that the president has directed that we've planned over 15 million trees. So there's need for us to hasten the planting and as we do the, 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 the logging, as we do the cutting of trees, let there be, you know, the assurance that trees are being planted and we will participate in the planting of trees. But again, let's cut trees responsibly. That is our urge. Mokama carbon ambayo inakuwa produced na companies ambazo zinatoa gasi nyingi inaharibu hewa. Na mvua inakosa ama tunakuwa na ukavu kwa sababu ya mambo kama haya. Mambo ambayo kama haya mechangia ni vipi tunaweza kufanya. Ni vipi serikali tunaweza kusaidiana. Sisi kama viongozi wa kanisa ili tukaweza kuona ya kwamba nchi yetu haiharibiki. Tunaweza kuchangia wapi ili tukaweza kuokoa nchi yetu. Na pia ire mali ambayo inatokea wale watu wanaumia kuona ya kwamba inagawiwa kwa usawa ama kwa zile nchi ambazo zinaumia zaidi zinapata nini sisi kama Afrika tunaona saa zingine tunanyanyaswa tungetaka kuona nchi zetu kama Afrika pia zikipewa kulingana na shinda ambazo wako nazo hiyo ndiyo sababu ambayo ilifanya tukaweza kukutana hapa